white on white product photography or product renders has always presented its challenges you may wonder how is it that some persons are able to separate the product from the background like the images you see on screen here these are good examples of white on white product photography in your render or your product image you might come out like this where it looks really nice but there's a slight problem if we look to the top left of this image it's very difficult to differentiate the product from the background so in this video i'm going to show you exactly how you're able to overcome that problem and render white on white product renders in blender for those who don't know me my name is denzel modis and i'm a professional product photographer who has been using blender for the past four years to create product renders so let me show you in blender how you achieve this all right well as usual this is my scene set up on the left hand side here where uh, i have my camera and it's in render view and there are no lights all right you will know that from previous videos we add lights deliberately and this is my cosmetic uh, tube and a model if it is that you want a tutorial on that uh, let me know in the in the comments and i'll see what i could do all right so the first thing we want to do is create a nice little uh, light to the back so I already enabled this one. I name it back wall, created a plane, I name it back wall. Alright. And so select the back wall and let's now let's give it a let's give it a shader, an emission shader. And let's plug this in here. So problem number one. Let's scroll in and see what's the problem. You notice that the light from the background here it bleeds onto the, the product. And the first thing when you photograph in white on white, you don't want the background, the backlight to bleed onto the edges because in order to get professional looking white on white, you have to be able to have that separation from the back to the front and it starts here. All right. So typically what we'll do is press GY and move it all the way back. That's what I mentioned in previous videos, but we're using a 3D software in real, we'll have to do that to get some more real estate so that the light will be far back but since we're using a 3d software we could manipulate this without having to do that so with the plane selected uh, click on object properties and scroll along to where it says ray visibility and turn off the ray visibility the diffuse and the glossy all right and so we have solved that problem so we have our white background there and it's not affecting the, the product nor the, the, the objects are wrong but there's a second problem i took a render of this and brought it into Photoshop and I realized that this this background is not totally white I'm actually using I'm I'm, I'm using EGX and have it on set to very high contrast so what you could do you could test it out if you're using uh, another view transform or if your look is set to something else but mine is set to this and what I did I took a render and brought it into Photoshop and realized that it wasn't pure white and when I realized when I reached 3.5 or, or 4 then this is pure white so if i took a render and brought it in photoshop then it will show 255 matter of fact let me show you this is the render and you'll notice up here when i hover the mouse see rgb 255 yeah so this is this is now pure white so that's how i notice okay this is this is what i set it to to get a pure white background so that's one and as mentioned before since we want to be able to separate uh, the background from the up from the object we want to make sure that we we remain we leave the edges that is what makes your product stand out on white on white so always white as long as you could see the edges then you will have professional looking product renders white on white so we want to add a nice large light on the left hand side of of this of our product here so that's why i have large light all right so i have this this area light and i've set the power to some 600 but that's dependent on your scene and what you notice still is that if you look on the right side here you could still see the silhouette especially on the right side here where is that that shadow we don't want to be that dark but we want to maintain that edge all right so that we can have that separation from the background i know this light is not too powerful if it is we set this to something like 2000 then right away it's competing now this is competing with the background and that's why i set it to like 600 all right so now it's not competing because it's it's not pure white like the back so on the right hand side what i did i actually added my strip box so let me show you the strip box let me put out put it to material preview on this side and you'll notice here let me select on it 
there I have my, my strip where notice the black is to the back and I have this white here. So the white is affecting the label because this is a glossy as you could see a sort of shiny metallic label. Let me turn it off again. You know this is that this lights up really nicely but this is this is dark and we want to see this nice gold label. So I have uh, put this, added the strip box and the, the, the power is not set to high at all. The intensity is just set to 1. So it's not too strong like that. That's a personal preference. You could do that if you would like. But in my case, I just had a reflection. Matter of fact, as I did that, it looked really nice. Nevertheless, you, you will work to suit. But I still think this is a little dark. So that is why on this uh, strip box, I've added this version too. I've added this black value slider. So watch carefully. And this black value slider, it will turn sort of gray. And so I open up the shadows a little bit. Again, it's still maintaining the edge. And that's creating the separation. I still want this image to be a little brighter so what i did i created a top light and this top light just fill this a little bit now it didn't take away none of the shadows neither the top here because let me scroll in because we've seen those ridges really nicely let me turn it off and turn it on just let the top there but it, it it just fill the scene make it a little brighter and if you wanted to make it even more area we have to pay attention as long as we don't lose the edges i, I i've added a bounce below and in this case it, it just fill the scene really nicely we could do that or oh, let me show you another option so we could turn off that bounce below and with this play in the background selected what i did i actually created this this gradient to the back uh, it's easy now if i plug this gradient here the middle here is a little brighter so if i if i turn it up you see you see the difference or i should Matter of fact, I should increase the black on this so you could see the difference in that in that gradient. All right, and of course I could, you could manipulate manipulate this here, and that's how you could create your gradient. But that is optional. This video is focusing on on the white on white. All right, so I have the, the bounce to the bottom that it fills that scene really nicely. So let me recap again because this is our final render. We could press F12 and we'll have a nice render. But let me recap. And I will add the lights a little differently so you see that nowhere along the way did we lose our edge. So if I enable the back wall, all right, remember there's no bleed on the edge. And if I if I add the strip box to the right, you notice that it just lights the side, but we still have that that dark edge there. Even if I if I enable the top light, all right, the top yes, nothing there is lost. The edges are still there. If I enable the bounce below, the edges are still not lost. And if I enable the large light, it's still not lost. Even if it's light in this side, it still could be able to separate from the back because this is pure white and this is not because of how we are lighting it. All right. So that is how you're able to light product renders white and white background professionally. And of course, you could tweak uh, to suit, but as long as you, you could define the edges and we could do that, you saw it in this video. All right. So if it is something that you like, please give it a like and subscribe. This channel is dedicated to showing you how to do professional product renders, uh, lighting, modeling, even materials. You could comment on what you want to see next. And uh, this file will be available on my Patreon. It's available for free, by the way. So you can join for free. I've just started that Patreon. So you could download this file and also the previous one. I think is the one with the with the battery. Yes. All right, the Starbucks battery. <laughs> Or you could check out that video if you like to. A really nice video where we focus on uh, a number of things, modeling and materials and lighting. All right, so I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.